Hello, and welcome to another session on how to use the FFmpeg command line tool to do some neat stuff. Today, we're going to talk about two different things. First is how you can combine the video from one file with the audio from another file and do it very quickly and without any loss of quality. Uh, an example for when you would need to do that is uh, if you have a video recording and you had to adjust the audio, maybe you needed to raise up the volume or something, uh, and you just want to stick that modified copy back into your video file. So that is what we're going to show first. The second thing is how you can take an existing video file and then add an audio track to it. And as an example, I'm going to take a file that has a video track, a subtitle track, and two audio tracks and then I will add an audio track from a separate file in. So before we get into that, just a quick recap of what we talked about in the previous video. Uh, we talked about how you can go about installing FFmpeg, and we covered how you can use it to extract audio tracks from an existing file. So if you uh, haven't seen that yet and you do need to install FFmpeg, then please do go watch that other video. It has all the instructions there. Uh, and then you can join us back here as we go into our first use case. So with that said, let's get started with our first example, how to replace the audio track of a video file. So in this folder, I have two files. The first is my screencast recording I made for my last video. I did that with OBS. And then what I had to do was pull out the audio and make some changes to it. And then I saved that as this audio file with a .aac extension. To make those changes, I had used Audacity. Uh, so this top track here, this is the original audio from that movie file. And the bottom track is the modified version I had produced using Audacity. The big change is that I increased the volume um, and also turned it into mono from stereo. So that's what we're dealing with here. Now, let's go over here now and I will open up a terminal using this option. All right, and let's take a look at what we have. I'll just type ls to begin just so I can see the names of the files here. And our command to run in is going to be ffmpeg and then a whole bunch of options. Before we talk about each one, I do want to point out that with ffmpeg, the order of the options that you put in do matter. So what we're going to do is we will start by putting in all of these options to specify our inputs and then what we want to do with them and then the name of the output file to create. So we've got FFmpeg typed up already. So the first thing to type in after that is dash I and I will give it the name of the movie file first. I'll just start typing and then press the tab key to let that auto complete. Now we are going to again press dash I and then give it the name of the second file that we want to work with and that's this audio file here. Okay so now FFmpeg knows okay so it's going to be taking two separate files and in this order. So the first file that we provide will be referenced as file number zero and then the second file will be file number one. For FFmpeg numbering starts at zero and then goes up from there. Okay, so we have our inputs specified. Next thing we're going to do is type dash C and the word copy. So we're telling FFmpeg that for everything that we're going to do now, we are going to just do a straight stream copy from the input to the output with no re-encoding or anything like that. So by using this option, dash C copy, we are going to be sure that our final file will have the exact same quality of the originals. So the next thing to do is to tell FFmpeg what pieces of each of these input files we want to bring in. And we use the dash map option for that. And I'll start by referencing the movie file. So I'll type a zero because it is file number zero and then a colon and then the letter V 
because I want to take the video stream from that and then a colon and then I'm going to specify that I want the first video stream in this file. There's actually only one but I'll go ahead and just type that like that anyway. And that's it for the first one. Now for the second file, the audio file, I will again type dash map and this time I'll say one to refer to that file and then a colon and then the letter A because now we're talking about audio and a colon and then the number zero. And that is the complete set of mappings that we need. So to recap, so far we're telling FFmpeg that uh, we're going to make use of these files. Uh, we're doing a stream copy, so no re-encoding. And from that first file, we're going to take the first video stream. And from the second file, we're going to take the first audio stream. In this case, each one of them, they only have one video and one audio stream. So it doesn't, you don't actually need these last bits, the colon zero on either one of them, but I like putting them in all the same. Anyway, so we're almost done. The last thing we need to do is just give it the name of the output file we want to create. And usually if you give it the .mkv as the extension for the output file you want to create, that will work just about all the time because mkv is a very flexible container format. I don't think I've ever had any problems with it. Um, as opposed to, for example, .mp4, there are certain things that cannot go into a .mp4 file. Uh, for this demonstration, I will go ahead and use the .mkv. Uh, so here we go, I'll just say output.mkv. Now I'll press enter and it'll start working and it's done. Just a few seconds. Now if I take a look at what we have here, there it is, here is our output file. And just to show you visually that this worked, what I'm going to do is open up Audacity and I will open the original file. So this is the one used to grab the video piece. And we'll see that this one, this original file has the stereo audio track with very low volumes. And then to this, I will import audio from our output mkv file and we'll see that it is in fact not uh, not this stereo thing but the amplified audio track that I was showing you before. So there you go. That is how you can take a video from one file, audio from another file and combine it into a new file with no loss of quality. Okay so for this next part we are going to take an existing movie file and add audio tracks to it as opposed to replacing. So let's look at our first file. So this is the file we will be adding an audio track to. So I'll open it in VLC. Hello, it is May the 7th. Okay, so you can see we have our video here. Uh, the movie file only has one video track. It has two audio tracks right now. I'll flip over to that one so you can take a listen to see here. Have 1,000 subscribers, so yay. So, two very different audio tracks. And we also have a subtitle track in here playing at the bottom right now. All right, so that's our first input file for FFmpeg. Our second uh, input file will be this one here. And this is the one we're going to pull the audio out of to put into the first file. Let's flip over to the terminal now just to get some more information about these two files. We'll start with the second file. So we'll use ffprobe to get information, dash i, and then the name of that file. So tabbed autocomplete. And we can see here, okay, so we have a video stream as expected and a single audio track. That's all we have in there. While we're here, before we start with the ffmpeg command, let's, let's also probe the file that we will be adding the audio tracks to. So here you can see uh, we have a lot of streams here, just like we saw in VLC. So we have our single video track, we have an audio track here, and then a subtitle track, and then the second audio track. So these are the files we're going to work with. 
So I'm just going to clear the terminal and let's get started with our command. As always, it begins with ffmpeg and then dash i and the name of the first file we want to work with, which is the 1k and I'll press tab to autocomplete. So there's our first file and then dash i again and then the name of the second file. So I'll type a few characters, press tab to autocomplete. And just like before, we're going to say dash c copy, right? So we're just copying streams. We're not going to do any re-encoding. And then now we start with the mapping. So again, dash map. And this is where it's going to be different from our last command. We're just going to type a zero and that's it. So by saying dash map zero, we are telling FFmpeg we want to grab everything from the first file that we provided. Uh, this 1k subs extra tracks here, All right? And now a space. And now we add in the options to say what we want to take from the second file. So again, it's dash map to start, and then one and a colon to specify the second input file. And now we can type a colon zero to mean that we want to take audio streams and specifically the first audio stream. And here's where we have a choice. We can just continue with this command and then we'll be pulling in the one audio stream, or if we were working with a movie file with multiple audio streams and we wanted to take them all, then you could get rid of the colon zero. So it would look like one colon A, and that means bring in all of the audio streams. Uh, for this demo, I'm just gonna go ahead and do colon zero. I like to be specific. And that's it for those pieces. So the last thing we have to do here is provide the name of the output file, including the extension. So I'll call it final.mkv. And again, we'll use the mkv container format because it's just easier to work with. And that's it. So now I can press enter and it will build out our new file, done in seconds. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. So I'll open that in VLC. Hello, it is. And here, go jump to the audio and switch to our new track. And let's take a listen. So, all right, so there you have it. How you can use FFmpeg to take the video track from one file and the audio track from another file and mix them together without any re encoding, and also how you can add an audio track to a movie file so that your final file has multiple tracks. So hope you did like that. If you did, please do give it a like and consider subscribing so you can see more content when it comes. Thanks and bye now.